Sure, read all about it. Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle energy reading. So this is not a horoscope. So you can apply this to wherever Pisces energy influences your chart, your sun, your moon, your Venus, your Mars, your Mercury, your rising, wherever Pisces influences your natal chart or wherever Pisces energy influences your life. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. That counts too. Um, there's always an extended reading. We dive deeper using tarot, a full tarot card spread uh, to get specifics and details and it personalizes the reading a lot more. That link is in the description box below. Please do join me for that, for that extended reading as well. It includes a romance specific reading too. If you're interested in more romance or a little romantic preview, you can always go to the Romantic Tarot and check that out as well. I'll give you a little bit of preview. Um, now, Pisces, there are no dates on the video, but I do upload a Pisces specific video every single week. So if you want the latest Pisces video, please do click subscribe. You will help the channel grow. And you can also ring that bell to get notified of all your favorite content being uploaded. So let's get into it, Pisces. Let's do this. Pisces. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Crowning your reading is take time out. This is very defensive energy, protective and aggressive, aggressively defensive. So what do you need protecting from? Some sort of, um, could be mama bear energy. Uh, healing. This usually has to do with healing because uh, bear is a very shamanic energy and bear usually has to do with like shocking or scaring the, the bad energies out or there could be something getting to you inside, ripping and tearing and clawing at you internally, um, it, it, you know, implying that there has been some sort of sort of spiritual ailment that's been happening inside that needs purification or help. So this could very well be bad behavioral patterns, um, drug addictions, like addiction problems, food addiction, whatever kind of it, you know, it, it could be, it could be something like that. Now you may not be dealing with this internally. It could very well be an external burden that you're fighting and trying to protect somebody else from Pisces. So this is an energy of wanting to help somebody, save somebody, um, protect somebody and keep them safe. Um, becoming very, very defensive, almost aggressively defensive, maybe on their behalf. Um, if not just very worried about somebody or concerned. Um, like I said, this is, this is mama bear, big bear energy. Um, bears can be very playful, very congenial, very fun. Um, but they are fierce, fierce predators and they have a, like, they, they pack a, a powerful punch. So you really don't want to take on a bear. And I feel like there is either a bear in your life or, um, that you are facing down and struggling with, um, like I said, that would be the ripping and tearing from the inside, or there is bear, a bear external, or you're being the bear, um, toward uh, somebody that you want to protect and care for very deeply. This is your crowning energy, Pisces. A few more cards have also come out. Um, we have turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. So this is six plus one, the energy of seven. This is giving your entire self. Like liter literally, um, it's it's... I think the utmost philanthropic energy, this is giving your whole self to something or to somebody, to a cause or to help somebody. This is putting your whole self in, putting yourself on the chop chopping block for the sake of others. Now think of turkey, think of what turkeys do and how we use them in our lives. Um, very much a food source and a celebratory for food source, but think of it like that, like putting your whole self on the line to help feed or provide for or protect somebody else. This further goes to back up the idea that this is mama bear energy and you are actually the one trying to take care of, put your whole self into um, putting something forth, taking care of somebody, um, healing somebody, nurturing somebody. Uh, open to infinite possibilities. Five plus nine equals 14, adding up to five star. Get ready to be a star because this is 
a spotlight being put on you or you being recognized for something that you put your whole self into. This is a public recognition, could be fame. It could just be being recognized and dreams coming true. Think of this as the, um, the star card in the tarot deck. It's, it's, it's relevant to it. Um, this is things going very, very well for you. Um, um, or wishing on a star, dreaming and wishing, still striving in some way, still putting your whole self in. But when this star comes up, it's very beneficial. And it's, it's, it's almost like there are a lot of opportunities that are going to be coming your way because you are shining like a star, like a North star, and people are finally able to see you and to recognize you and pay attention to you. Interesting energies working together. Claim your independence, one plus three. Now, I think this is definitely, these two together is like finally success. Like putting your whole self in is finally paying off and you're getting somewhere. Being able to claim your independence, like a cat, this energy adds up to four. One plus three adds up to four. So think of a cat always lands on their feet, their four feet. Um, and that is claiming your independence, independence from hardship, independence from struggle, independence from um, 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 disappointment. Yeah, in, like independence from all the worry, all the wonder, like when am I going to break through? This would indicate that your breakthrough has come, your breakthrough is here. Pisces, um, um, yeah, and you've worked your butt off for this because this is the energy crowning your reading. I almost think in some ways you might not fully be able to realize just how amazing things are yet because the defensiveness is so high. You're, in other words, you're so used to being in sort of a fight or flight mode that adrenaline high, have to just keep going, have to just keep going. You're so in that zone, you maybe have, you have in some ways become the bear that is ripping and tearing and clawing just to be able to provide or do something or get something done and I don't think that you you'll realize right away that what is happening is happening but what is happening is public recognition and you finally being able to get some free time get get liberated from the struggle that's that's what the energy is coming out liberated from the struggle hmm. I don't know what's been getting at you what's been bothering you or what you what, what has been putting you know uh, what you've been putting your full self into. Lots of Pisces are artists, so this could be a big breakthrough. It's like you're, you're finally going to get that book deal, or the agent's finally going to call you back, or or something like that, in that you're tired of the hassle, you're tired of the struggle. This lockdown has probably been very, we've talked about this before, very um, nurturing for you because it's put the boundaries in society that you haven't been able to put yourself and in doing so liberated you a lot but i think that you then took that time and that energy to like go hard and just bust your butt and push yourself forward or propel yourself forward and i think something is finally breaking through so spirit has a plan this is koala energy but it's in reverse so it's hung upside down it's almost like being able to see things from a different perspective it's not that spirit doesn't have a plan this is almost like spirit depending on you to tell it which way to go. So in other words, you are the creative force here, Pisces. You're the one getting things done. This is also being able to see things like the hanged man from a different perspective. It's spirit is asking you to look at things in a different way, possibly because only looking at things from a different way is how you're going to finally see your success. Kind of snap yourself out of the uber-charged, aggressive energy you put yourself in to go after this and finally be able to sort of get a little bit of reprieve and, and see things in a different in a, from a different way so that you can calm down a little bit. Um, Ooh, three plus five is the energy of eight. 35 is what I'm reading here. So that's destiny. This is more of a hidden destiny. So it could very well have been that this, something that you're expecting to break through, it doesn't break through. Something else associated with it does, which is why you weren't looking in that direction. Um, 
Be fearless and bold. Once again, energy of four. Four, four, four. Four is the energy of being protected. So you are definitely protected. There is definitely an energy surrounding you that is making sure that no bad comes to you, no harm comes to you. You could be doing something that is extremely risky, but you are protected. Um, a strong sense of self and a strong sense of purpose. This is Aries energy. So not backing down, you know, Badger does not back down. Badger, Badger is one of the most aggressive animals on this planet. Like Badger just keeps pushing forward because he's because of his confidence. So this is the energy of really being self possessed and self assured, having that confidence to know that um, to know that your convictions are correct. Um, also showing up and turning out. In other words, that Aries energy would never let you. Um, Aries, Aries, Aries. It's almost like a fresh start for you, like a new beginning. Because Pisces, you are the oldest sign, right? You're the most mature sign of the zodiac. When we when we move over to Aries, and I always look if there's an Aries that comes in your reading, because it's almost like Aries is starting over. You're the you're the end, and then a new beginning. So this is like a this is this is like a it signifies a karmic cycle having come to an end which is which tells me that you've paid the piper pisces that's the energy of like that your karmic cycle done now you get to start over again type of energy um embrace the in between two plus six equals eight more destiny and you're protected so you're actually being divinely guided on this path this sense of this is Libra energy. This could be partnership. This card is partnership in numbers, in masses. So gathering a lot of people or working on a huge team and it really ends up working out for you because you found the right team. You found the flock that you belonged to. You're partnering with a bunch of people to almost amplify your abilities or the way that you look. You're amplifying yourself through others by reaching out and creating a huge network. It's really working for you. Um, and you're doing this during a time of uncertainty. Basically, we're all in a time of uncertainty now. So you're doing this in a time of uncertainty. You're doing this in a time of, um, you know, where you thought nothing was going anywhere for you. You thought you were like, not on a downward spiral, but like just nothing was happening. You know, it was like a standstill. So this is a little bit, this will come to you. It, ooh, this will come to you a little bit as a, um, because you were, I think you were just doing this to feel better yourself, almost in a way to heal yourself, but it, it, it came at just the right time. This is constantly coming up as divine timing, divine timing, divine timing. Okay. Okay. You are never alone. Oh, so this is getting a lot of support or a lot of healing, a lot of health, a lot of happiness, taking care of other people's health. Uh, four plus two equals the energy of six, which to me is like the, the lovers and the tarot just coming together um, and being really attracted to each other or having a strong connection or strong support system or yourself deciding to spread love and be very supportive to others. You could be in the medical profession. You could be helping people to heal um, or you're just helping people to heal through sharing, sharing and getting out there and sharing confidence and, and sharing um, positivity and sharing, you know, that your can do attitude. That's kind of what you're sharing, but it's, it's helping, it's connecting people, it's bringing them together, it's helping people to heal, and it's definitely helping you feel more connected because you really do. You, of, of all the zodiac signs, you really need to feel connected at all times. So this is a way of healing yourself as well. Grounding your energy is Scorpio, the energy of 10, matured energy, using your voice and putting a spotlight on something, like literally honing in on something, but also making it bright, illuminating it. You may be pointing something out that people need to know. You may be showing people the way. You may be guiding them. Um, in other words, this is a seeing your way through the dark, bringing light, bringing, bringing yourself into the light, showing others the way, that kind of energy. And it's grounding. 
grounding you. So in other words, what's grounding you is a strong sense of purpose, um, a, a need to make things better and make yourself feel, like I said, connected. But then you also have this Gemini energy, watch your words, four plus nine, something coming out, something with words, very particular, using words to sort of spotlight or put, put, yeah, using words to, to spotlight something, put a spotlight on something, show something, demonstrate something, maybe give people a warning, you know, tell people how to behave in public or, you know, this kind of energy of having a purpose and using your words to help, um, share that purpose and carry that purpose, um, into the public arena. You guys are definitely using your time <laughs> like like really well. Use your mind wisely. Seven plus four equals 11. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, and this is one, my When Pigs Fly card. Um, you're making the impossible happen. So this is the combination of intellect and faith. Um, it is wisdom and understanding, uh, a deep wisdom. So that's wisdom beyond the, ob in other words, understanding beyond the obvious is making something that wasn't obvious, obvious to others, making it accessible. And you are literally doing the impossible when pigs fly when pigs fly the moment is here it's like you're finally hearing news or seeing things that you wanted to happen all along and it's almost like the possible is not only probable but it's happening it's happening it's happening let me flip this energy around i'm sorry let me finish the shuffle i always have to finish the shuffle because i feel like the question isn't answered or the energy the message isn't complete unless i've finished the shuffle so pisces I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see the cards. Hold on. So here you go. Um, your grounding energy is your purpose. Your grounding energy is doing what you know is right, even if it seems impractical or impossible. Like that's your grounding energy, knowing that the world needs to hear what you have to say. Your journey is one of initial hardship self-sacrifice to the extreme um but it working out for you that saving grace probably because you are popular and people do love you it's like it's like almost like your popularity with others your ability to connect with others is actually what ends up being that soft footing that place that you fall every time because people do want to help you they do want to take care of you and they do want to um they do want to give you things um so there's always somebody that you can count on that sees value in who you are or in what you're doing. Um, but this is definitely in, in the center of the energy. Spirit has a plan. It's not, it's, it's, it's your plan. It's almost, like I said, you're the guiding force here. You're the one that's manifesting an idea or a purpose or, um, well, I, like an ideal type of type of thing and you're doing it fiercely and I do think that not too recently if there's a big there's going to be a big turnaround in your life either this week or it's already just happened but it is this unexpected turnaround because you're still on this mode of I got to keep going I got to keep going I got to keep going like I, ag aggressive aggressive energy this is what I, a little bit of concern here not necessarily um because it it voids any of this other energy but because um it is divine timing it is destiny but it's also not going to be the easiest to see like in other words your success and this is absolutely success it is it is accomplishment let's put it that way um it is accomplishment but it may be difficult to see at first. That's the only caveat. I want to get a little bit deeper into that energy. Uh, I'm going to go into the Romantic Tarot and continue this reading. Please do join me. The link is below. And I'll also go into your Romance reading as well, Pisces. So I'll see you over there.